Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Skidude and another wonderful Minimator tutorial video. Now today I'm going to go over schematics, how to use them, how to import them, and how to make them. So let's start by just showing you what a schematic is. If I go here and click add, go down to scenery, um, I can give it a name as always with every other thing. So let's go ahead and just name this scene one. Click OK. Keep the type at scenery. Schematic, it says none loaded. So let's go ahead, click that. Now, Minimator does come with a folder full of preloaded schematics. And let's go ahead and pull one in. Let's use the windmill. Let it load. Almost there. Oh, and there we go. So we've got this preloaded scene in. And it's a windmill. It's a very nice built windmill. You've got some grass, you've got trees, a nice um, gravel path, and some fence. So it's just a way to add some scenery to your animations. Now these are fully editable, so if I go down here and make a keyframe, um, open the position, I can move it around, I can rotate it. I can kind of manipulate it any way I could a normal object. I can do the scale, you know, you can make a little miniature town that Big Godzilla goes tromping through. Uh, you can change the color overlay, you can make it fade in like a ghost town. You can even make it somewhat, you can make it somewhat kind of invisible so it's a good ghost town look. Um, and then your normal transitions. Let's take a look at the overlay and see what that looks like. Oh, there you go. So I can make it like this dark, haunted, ghost town look. So it's pretty cool. Now let's say you're shooting a scene that, you know, you, there's not really a good schematic for. Um, there's actually a way to import your schematics. So let's go ahead, um, oop, close that, close that. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. Give it a second. All right. Again. Uh, let's just head into. Let's create a new world. Call it New World, <laughs> and we'll go in. Now, hold on. Come on. There we go. So let's say I wanted to add a lovely professional looking house that I had just built. It took me days and days and days to build this house. Um, and I wanted to use it in my animation because it just looked like the best house I'd ever built in Minecraft and I wanted to show it off to people. Um, Let's say you just wanted to import that into Minimator. You would first need to build this house that you have dreamed about for so long, like this one that is just just gives me goosebumps looking at this architecture. <laughs> anyway, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the object you're going to be pulling, and you're going to want to log off in front of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and save and quit the title, quit game. Now I use MC Edit. Um, I haven't had the chance to try and use World Edit. Um, I've just been using MC Edit. Um, I'll have a download in the description below. This is somewhat similar um, controls as Minimator as far as the camera goes. Um, so what you want to do is when you come into this main area, you're going to want to go to Load World. Um, now I've already gone to my roaming folder, so I just click new world, click load, and you can see a head there because that's where I logged off. So that's why I say log off in front of your creation because then you start out right by it. Now it's similar to Minimator in the controls is Q is up, um, I think, yeah, Q is up, Z is down, um, W forward, you know, normal WASD, um, hold the right mouse button to look around. And if, if it's flying too fast for you, just hold spacebar. Now what I want to do is you can see this little white box. That is my selection. I'm going to want to select this house 
and I can even select anything around it as well. So let's actually import let's import some of this mountain with it. Um, so the easiest way for me is just select my house first. So you just click. Now you can see it's kind of going up. I can click to the side. It's kind of, it does drag in three-dimensional space, so it does take a little bit getting used to. So I'm just going to drag a line right there. Now I can mouse over any face and you'll see it glows white with an orange border. Click and drag that out. Get the top, click and drag that up. And now anything inside of that cube, including water, will be taken. Um, so let's go ahead, pull this over. Let's pull in some of this wonderful mountain. Um, pull this up and let's go down pull that down just a smidgen okay so we've pulled our house and we've pulled part of that mountain so what you're going to want to do is on this left side panel here you're going to want to go to export the bottom selection here on the left you're going to click export and you're going to find where you want to save it. Now for me, I always like to save it just in the Mind Emitter Schematics folder. So I'm going to name this Amazing House. Uh, make sure the safe type is .schematic. That is the only option for me, but just make sure that's what it is. Click Save. Let it do its thing. Go ahead and close MC Edit. And let's go back to Mind Emitter. So let's remove this scene. And let's add one more. Let's click Add scenery. Uh, give the scenery a name. Best house ever. Okay. <laughs> uh, schematic and unloaded. Let's click on that. Let's browse to where we saved it. I saved it in the schematics folder. We'll click amazing house. Now it, the bigger the file, the, the longer it's going to take to load in. So be patient with this. It does have a load bar. Um, before it just kind of looked like your Minimator was spazzing out, but now it's got a load bar and it does take a little bit to load in, so just be patient. Alright, we're in. So you can see I went down farther than I thought I did. I did pull the whole mountain, you've got the water, and I've got my amazing little house here. So I could go ahead and add character. Um, we'll just leave him character. Click a keyframe. We're going to click jump to camera. Pull him over here. And let's put him in the house. Alright. Tight, tight squeeze. <laughs> and there we go. He is in our house. Now, um, I did see a post on David's forums of like being able to edit individual box of a schematic. And really, I mean, that technically could be a cool option, but say you did want to edit a single block out of a schematic, just leave it out of the schematic itself. So let's say I wanted to make it so this corner piece would explode out. What I would do is when I built this building, I would leave that corner piece out um, and then just add an an individual item to animate. So I would click add block. Um, oops, block. Now something I forgot to mention up here. You can see this little cursor thing. If I click up here and I cobble, it filters it out for me. I don't need to go looking for it. That's something cool David pointed out to me. So we added a block. We're going to click here. Uh, we're going to click jump to camera. And we're going to pull it over, pull it over, pull it over, um, down right there. So let's say we just wanted to blow it off. So we would click a keyframe over here, we'd throw it over here, probably bring it up. Actually, we'll go like this. We'll bring it up there. And then the next keyframe, we're going to bring it down there. And for this keyframe, we're just going to 
drag these all crazy sauce. And then for this one, drag it all crazy sauce. And let's see what that looks like. So just imagine the big fight scene and a bomb goes off. Now, of course, you'd make the angle a little smoother than mine, but you get the gist of what I'm going for here. So that's adding schematics. Now, you, um, if you saw the Ant Venom video, he actually used a schematic as a prop. Um, he made the dead mouse head, um, he imported it and made it smaller. Now, that is the same thing that was done in the Meet the Pyro video by Frosa. That gun that he's holding is actually one that he imported. Um, and I don't know if, let's see, if the schematic is here. Actually, I actually haven't looked for it. Um, Dungeon Grizzly Field, Kitchen, Swedish. It's not, but let me just go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. If I load in the big old Swedish fish, uh, Swedish ship. Man, that is a tongue twister. Alright, we've got um, I just replaced the one we had. So we've got our Swedish ship. Let's go ahead and edit this around. So we're going to add a keyframe. We're going to take the scale down to about yay big. Now, is that still seeable? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to click OK. And now we're actually going to parent it to Mr. Steve's hands. We're going to take this, best house ever, lock the parent, um, character one, right arm. Now you can see it's over there. Let's go ahead and change it around. Zoom out. Oops. Now let's show all the X. Show those. Let's bring it. No. We want to. Oh, I had character selected. There we go. Um, now when you do change the scale, it looks like the sliders do get a bit smaller, but no fear, we have this right here. Alright, so let's pull that down. Let's ro oop. Set to zero, I think it's the Z we want. Yeah, let's rotate it around. Let's go back to the XY. Bring it out. And now Steve is holding his little play ship to go play in the bathtub with. So that's just a cool way to make custom props for your animations. Um, just build it as something in Minecraft and then just change the scale down. So this is the schematic tutorial. Um, I am going to be working on a bow animation tutorial, opening custom chest tutorial, things like that. However, the custom chests are actually going to be added by David himself, but I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll look into it. I haven't actually tried yet. I've been very busy, but I'll look into it. Anyway, um, if you have any other problems or tutorials you may need, let me know in the comments below. As always, head to David's website um, that will be linked in the description. Check it out. Check out his other stuff. He actually has some cool things. If you ever wanted to make a huge wall that uh, uses redstone to display words, he actually has a program that builds it for you. He also has a Noteblock studio to make songs with the Noteblocks in Minecraft. So check those out, and he's got a couple small games. As always, this is Skidoo. Check out my other playlists. Um, rate, subscribe, thumbs up. Any comments or questions below, I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace!